There are so many ways a rodent can get into your RV, and once they get in, it's hard to get them out. So let's talk about it. We're Sherry and John from Antiglam, and as many of our viewers know, we love camping in the state parks. Camping in state parks, we're around animals. Including rodents. So let's start with why it's important to keep mice out of your RV. Well, first of all, they're disgusting. They leave poop and urine all over the place. And not only is it filthy, but it's also a health hazard. And in addition to that, they eat up the wood, your yep. wires. Definitely hoses. And that can cause thousands of dollars worth of damage. She is really grossed out by mice. I don't like mice. I don't want mice in my, my RV. <laughs> no. So one of the first things we did before we bought our bounder was that we looked into ways to keep mice, rodents, out of our RV. Now, there is no foolproof method. There is nothing that you can do that will guarantee that you will never, ever have a mouse in your RV. But there are steps that you can take to prevent it. Like looking under your RV for dime-sized holes and making sure they're filled. And checking the seals that's, that are underneath there, too. Oh, yeah. Right? Making sure that there are no holes or cracks in those seals. And you can use a product like Great Stuff, and they actually have a rodent version of Great yes, Stuff that you can spray to fill in any gaps or holes where a mouse might come in. If you keep your RV in storage, you have to be very careful because you're not around to keep an eye on what gets in and to get rid of it. So something could take up residence there, and you might not know for weeks. And mice are prolific breeders. So keep in mind, you never have just one mouse. If you no. see one mouse... Then there are probably several others living in that RV. In fact, it could be dozens. It could be. And what you're, what you're probably going to see when you get to that RV, mouse droppings all over the place. But you may not even see that, right? Oh, because that's right. They, they, may may keep, the they may deposit those droppings in areas that you're not aware of. That's true. Right. So let's start with the methods that we use to keep rodents out of our RV. The first product that we use is... Stay away rodent repellent. It comes in small bags and smells, what would you say, a peppermint, sort of? Kind of, yeah. It's, it has a scent that... Um, so rodents don't like very strong scents. Right, and it's a very strong scent. Right, so you just toss it into your cargo bays, and uh, for us, it's done, I can say that after one year of camping, we have not had a single rodent. No, we haven't. And uh, John knows I'd move out as soon as we did. <laughs> yes, you would. So the next thing that we do whenever we pull into a campground is that John sprays around the entire RV mm. with... It's Tomcat. Rodent repellent. And that has a very strong peppermint scent. Another layer of protection you can get for your RV are LED lights for underneath. That keeps mice away because mice don't like the light. You want to make sure that any food that you have in your RV, doesn't matter if you're full-timing or if you're part-timing, make sure that you keep it in sealed containers that mice cannot get into. And that reduces the attraction they have to your RV because they can't smell it, hopefully, mm -hmm. if it's a sealed container. And if your weekend RV is like us, you want to make sure that after each trip, you thoroughly clean your RV and you remove all food substances from it as well. A mouse can smell the last six meals that you've cooked in your RV. And it's very tempting to want to try to get into an RV when you smell food. And if they can smell the last six meals that you've cooked, imagine the perishable goods that you have in there. Wow. They are going to want to get in and they are going to want to eat, especially in the cold of winter when food is scarce yes. and the weather outside is chilly. I guess that means you should keep your campsite pretty clean too. Yeah, that's a good point, right? So we have a Blackstone. We also have the griddle for our solo stove. And after each meal, we thoroughly clean it off so that we're not inviting any types of pests to our campsite. But they're so cute. An RV cover for those of you who store your RV. Yeah, that's interesting. I read about that, and you know, we had a viewer recently ask us about you know why we don't cover RV and our, why we don't cover our RV. And I'm thinking now I might start to do it because <laughs> apparently a cover over your RV can help to insulate some of the smells of food from the inside. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Right, so that they're not as likely to want to enter into your RV. And this is especially important when you keep your RV in storage because you may do, be, do a good job of cleaning everything once you're done with your trip and taking all the food out of your RV. 
Mm. But you don't know what your neighbors are up to. That's true. And your neighbors may not be as thorough as you are. If you're enjoying our content, we'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. And we have a very lofty goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers this year. And if we meet that goal, uh -oh. John's going to go wingsuit flying. And if you don't know what that is, look there. Um, I'm sure it's no. Yes. No. So please I'm, hit I'm, that subscribe I'm, button if you want to see John go wingsuit flying. I'm, I know I do. I'm positive this is no. Come back here. You can... <laughs> <laughs> In case anyone's wondering what that's all about, John just not so politely let me know that I didn't push the record button. I just said no. Before Press I the started. Button. <laughs> Press the button. Don't have it, John. Really? Okay. So we're not done with the mice. We have driven to our storage lot because when we parked the RV the last time, we decided, you know what? We haven't seen any mice. You decided. So this is a unilateral decision? <laughs> so I decided apparently, <laughs> apparently, I, that, <laughs> apparently I decided that we should probably put some mouse traps down and see if anything happens. That way we really know if our RV is mouse free. So we put it in areas where we thought a little rodent might might most likely want to hang out in our RV. Yeah. So now I'm going to send... <laughs> <You're> him. <laughs> him. No, you had it right. Turn it around. <laughs> I'm sending him in alone. Alone. Because I'm not going near though. So John, go check it out. You know, I wish I brought a little fake mouse with me. <laughs> I was talking in a trap. Peoples, he's so mean to me. Did you did you hear that? You see? Okay, John. Bye. Back. I bye. know you're asleep. Oh, bye. And I'm gonna stay here and wait for the word. No, you have to come with me. You need to clean your windshield. It's dirty. Thanks. Everyone on YouTube is gonna see how dirty it is. While I'm in here checking our traps, why don't you tell us down in the comments below what you do to keep mice out of your vehicle? Now that John's gone inside and checked and there are no mice that have triggered the traps, we are very confident in our mouse prevention techniques. No mice were harmed in the filming of this video. Now that there are no mice, <laughs> now that you know everything that you need to know to prevent mice from getting into your RV, Take a look at this video here. Is that right? That's right. Okay, to learn more about how to prepare your RV for the camping season.